give the output signal for the circuit. So we have the input signals 1, 0, and 0. So to start this problem, I like to write the input signals on the actual um, diagram. So we have 1 here, we have 0 here, and we have 1 here. And then you just work um, left to right. So we can't really uh, work with the AND first because we have to get through this NOT gate. So the NOT gate just changes uh, zeros to ones and ones to zeros. If you think of zero as false and one is true, it changes false to true and true to false. So the zero will become a one as it uh, goes through the NOT gate. So now we have two ones entering the AND gate. So uh, this is going to produce a one. If they're both ones, uh, you get a one in the AND gate. Otherwise, it's zero. If you think of uh, logic, think of one is true. True and true in mathematical logic is true. Uh, in order for them both, in order for the and statement to be true, they both have to be true. So, in this case, they're both true and it's one. Otherwise, it's false. Like if one of these is zero, the and gate will give you a zero. So and is always one if they're both ones. And now you have two ones entering um, the OR gate. Oops, I forgot to write the output. So S. So you have two uh, ones entering the OR gate, and that's going to produce uh, a one. I remember OR is going to be equal to one as long as one of these is equal to one. So in this case, they're both ones, so you're going to get a one. It's just like if one meant true, which it does. <laughs> uh, as long as one is true, you're going to get true. So same thing. So in this case, the output signal is, uh, is one, and that's it.